Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just writing a simulator today and going over today's science file. And today's science file says... What would a lunar city look like, and when will we be able to live and work there? Well, that's a futuristic question. I'm thinking, try this! You will need some toilet paper tubes, some CDs, some bottles with caps, a table, a bed sheet, and a pair of scissors. First, you want to head to your bathroom and get yourself some toilet paper. Hey, what are you doing? It's okay. Here we're in dark underwear. Next, you want to get yourself some CDs, but not new ones. Instead, you want to get yourself some old ones. Use your brother's new ones. <laughs> I did. Gather up some containers with lids and collect the lids. What you do with the leftover containers is up to you. Make sure you hold on to one pop bottle. You'll need it later. Now you can use a piece of cardboard that's painted all gray. This is so cool science show. So I'm going to make a lunar surface that's so cool. Get yourself a bed sheet. <laughs> We're not going to take a siesta here. You're going to use it to cover your table off. Now you're ready to put together your lunar city. This is going to take me a while. So to keep you from going Rip Van Winkle on me, I'm going to speed things up. Take a look at this. It looks like a super cool futuristic city. So, when can you buy a ticket to the moon? Well, start saving up because you're definitely going to want to take a closer look at this. The Constellation Program is a NASA project designed to take humans to the moon followed by Mars as well as the rest of our solar system. The major goal of the Constellation Program is to establish a permanent human base on the moon. Equipment and supplies needed to build a base would be launched towards the moon by the Ares 5 rocket. The moon base is planned to be stationed at the moon's southern pole, allowing constant daylight for solar power. Flyby probes have shown the moon contains frozen water left from comet impacts, which could be used by a lunar colony as their water supply. The on-site water would be available for drinking, growing plants, and producing oxygen and hydrogen by splitting H2O molecules with electric current. We can also extract oxygen from the lunar dust by heating it. Other possible lunar resources include minerals such as aluminum, silicon, iron, and titanium. So now you know more about NASA's Constellation Project. You know, building your own lunar city model is why science is so cool.